YouTube, welcome on in. Special, special stream slash video for y'all. I have a special guest named Lucina Fanboy who's going to introduce himself right now. And we're t uh, he's going to teach you guys Cleave 101, the basics and everything you need to know. Lucina, welcome on in. Tell them tell them about yourself. All right. Thanks, Car. So, yep. As you know, I am Lucina Fanboy. Uh, Starty 7 around, like I say, like first Dizzy banner. So, like maybe three months in after the game started. Uh, been pretty much Hearthstone champion ever since RTA started until this past season. Finally hit Crab. It's pretty much hovered rank 200 for most of the season until maybe last day. Uh, mostly known for playing turn one. Used to play control before it got gutted to the ground. Now I'm just mostly a cleaver. Got it. All right. So, Lucina, let's first check out your previous seasons. I had that open at the start. Let's check out these logs, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And you can run us through. So, Lucina. Just give us the basics. What is a cleaver? And then talk about this draft and what you're going to teach us today. So pretty much, we're just going to go over how I cleave and just how that sort of fits into the general idea of like cleaving in a nutshell. It's honestly super simple. I think a lot of players sort of feel overwhelmed by what they think a cleaver is or like what they need in order to be a cleaver. True. It's a lot easier than you'd think. Oh, a lot easier. How... Okay, well, I don't want to make it sound too easy. I don't know if we need more cleavers out there, right, chat? But, um, all right. So, what's next, Lucino? You want to talk about this lineup, I guess? These are the units you... Is this your most comfortable uh, cleave draft? Just yeah, so this one? is pretty much my core five. Politis, Ran, Flan, uh, BBK, Briar. Those are my core five. Okay, and, and I would guess, like, especially BBK and Briar, those aren't the most common cleave, right? What do we normally see, guys? Pavel... Um, Green Vildred, right? Other popular yeah, Sid, choices. So, Sid Watcher. Why do you, um, other why, DPS tend to take priority? Yeah. Why do you use those two, Lucina? Well, I think especially when this match happened, this is right after the Celine and the D little bit um, bounce update, right? right? Or the bounce adjustment. So I really wanted to focus on DPS that wouldn't have to really deal with that. I think the weakness of Selene right now is that Selene can't really deal with immortal units, right? Right. So Which these two, like, the key yeah. feature of these two, Lucina, is they have built-in immortality, right? BBK starts at the start of the match. Is it at the start of the match? And then Briseries is when she reaches uh, fatal hit points. So when she gets killed for the first time, she's packs yeah, exactly. that immortality. Okay. All right. So this is your comfort draft. Um, yeah, just run us through the thought process, the ban phase, all that. 101 stuff these up and coming cleavers need to learn. Yeah, so I, for the most part this season, I was pre banning Para. Um, unlike a lot of Bellion cleavers, I know a lot of cleavers tend to pre ban Bellion. Yeah. But I, I personally preferred Para because I think it led to more misbans or misdrafts into me. Um, I also sort of felt like. Bellion helped my cleave a lot more than hurt it because I, you know, I play immortal, I play immortal DPS. So like BBK gets a benefit from getting hit. Briar doesn't really care about getting hit either. So it just happened to just fit in with my playstyle really well. Okay, so that's that may be a personal spin, but most players maybe just starting out, yeah. you think they should still pre-ban like the Bellion until they figure out their kind of the nuance that they want to adjust to. Definitely. I think um, Bellion is still probably the safest pre ban, especially with the second pre ban coming out, right? Oh, true. Um, I think having Bellion definitely pre ban is something that every single cleaver should have. Otherwise, it's really difficult to cleave with the limited resources that you'll have later. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, so take us through. Is Politis, guess, give us the draft order. So, this is your most comfortable draft, and then the viewers can kind of just sort of take it for what they want if they want to change their dps out but is there some um tips as to what order you're drafting in and what are you trying to look for your, from your opponent yeah of course so um whenever i'm first pick i always prioritize politis i think politis is probably the one unit that makes or breaks your draft okay. if you're playing against it it's so hard to play into because i think most uh cleaves nowadays really rely on combat readiness like self-shoving yeah. And if you're if you're gonna get cut by a non-attack skill, if you're gonna get cut because you just don't have enough CR to shove up your units, it's it really hinders your draft. Yes. And, and especially with yeah. Just to catch up on a Lucina, Politis, guys, if you're super new watching, Politis' skill two passive is I believe fifty percent combat readiness reduction. Is yes. It, yeah. Okay, so he's saying this is very important. 
All right, so that's the first one you want to lock. Not because necessarily she's really good for you, but it's because she's very hard to fight against as well, correct? Well, she's also really good for you in the sense that you always have a DPS. You also have a book, which I think uh, Tagahels is a very important artifact to have as a cleaver. Okay. If you don't have book, if you don't have extra souls, your damage just ends up being a lot lower and it makes it a lot easier for people to just draft enough mitigation to you so that you can't do anything. Okay, and then we'll... That's going to tie into a lot of people that will want that will still be pre-banning Bellion. Okay, so after the Polidus, right? Um, and we'll loop back and talk about first pick, I think, Lucina, because you mentioned the first pick part. But um, yeah. So uh, Polidus, main priority for you, and would you say that for most Cleavers, generically? I think it's the safest pick for most Cleavers. Um, obviously, there are some people, like I believe Stress doesn't really pick Poly too much, but that's only if you're really conf one, if you're really confident in your speed, and two, you have like, you're drafting stuff like I say like Pavel, Fast Sid, and so on. Okay, okay. All right. So after the poly, what comes up next, Lucina? What are we looking for? And, and are you taking note of what your opponent is picking? Does that dictate what you're going to pick at all, or no? Do you have? Oh yeah. How's our game plan looking? I think there are two responses that players tend to have towards a politics first pick. They either draft slow or draft fast. Okay. I think that's how you want to think about it from a cleaver's perspective. Interesting. Because are they are they one, trying to yeah. contest you or are they trying to tank up? Is that what you're saying? Precisely. So yeah. like for example, if they like snipe a cleaver unit like Ran or something, or if they draft something like an Acid, you're going to be thinking about drafting units that can counter that that speed. So like for example with like speed imprints and such. Compared to, say, if they're drafting slower, in which case you know that you're going to be completely unopposed in speed, so you can draft stuff that might be a little bit, quote-unquote, slower in terms of speed contesting. Right, okay, yeah, and maybe we'll be able to get some anti-cleave. Just a few tips here at the end, guys, so stay tuned. Not just the cleavers watching. All right, so we're checking, and from his draft, right, this legend player, he's tanking, he's going slow, right? So his first two are, are slow, and you're uncontested so far in the speed. So your next two picks, Lucina, after his response is Ran and flan is that common uh yes i'm personally a flan cleaver which really heavily relies on the use of flan to get most of the combat readiness or just most of the setup for my cleave okay um flan is a particularly strong unit um especially in an era where immunity isn't really too common anymore because of romero um i personally run a really bulky flan just yes. because one Flan has a naturally quote unquote slow base speed of 115 compared to say Para or like Acid, A Coley, right? Who tend to have base speeds at least like 13 higher, I believe. Sure. Right? I think Acid's 128. Yep. So because of that, I tend to run a really bulky Flan with immunity. So for example, a common answer right now to cleave is Acid. Mm -hmm. So Acids can't kill this thing. And they can't silence you in case uh, that's like their backup, right? Because you have that immunity ready. Exactly. And I have managed to tank in that in that uh, battle log picture, actually. I actually managed to tank that Selene S2 with my flan as well. Let's see that Selene. So this picture right here, Selene, you tank that? Yeah. What the? Yes. Okay. All right. So. Flan and Ran, and we'll guys, we'll loop back and show the units as well after we'll show the, the main ones that are picked. So then our opponent responds with Dilibet and Selene, and you mentioned the Selene, your Flan, that's why we make her tanky. Um, and Dilibet, how do you think about, what do you feel about Dilibet in this sort of new era? Uh, Dilibet is a really obnoxious pick. Um, stuff like Ran, Flan is really hard to play into. Okay. Um, it oftentimes sort of signals a politis span because the only way the little bit is actually going to do anything against the cleaver is just if they're able to cut, right? Um, and this is sort of why I believe Politis is really important to have as a cleaver in particular, because there's a lot of stuff that's deliberately designed to cut you in this game right now. Like, for example, D Lily, Sage Ball, Angel Light, Angelica, all that stuff disrupts you by cutting ahead. Yeah, sure. So, having the, so for, whenever I see a D Lily, I sort of imply that the Politis is going to get banned. Right. Makes sense. Okay. So that was your problem. We'll get to the, the ban phase here. And then your opponent picks. Uh, this is your response. Your opponent picks. What was it? D Lily and Celine. And then last pick FCC. And then you have. Is your DPS always your last two picks, Lucina? Yes. Um, I think picking DPS early is always a mistake. 
Interesting. Um, Cleavers, take note of that. Remember, the reason I'm focusing so much on the draft phase is because you've heard it probably before from some top player, streamer, whatever, that a lot of the matches are just decided straight up in the draft phase. What do you think about that statement, Lucina? I absolutely agree with that. Um, if you have a horrible, if you don't have a good enough draft, you're going to suffer a lot when you're trying to play it out. True. And obviously, I, Cleave is not meant to. Uh, Cleave is not meant to survive past turn one. And if you're drafting in a way that you don't securely win turn one, it's going to be really, really risky for you. Okay, so our last, we lock in our DPS, and these are your comfort ones. And yep. after that, your opponent picks FCC. You just ban out the D Lilibet, because you mentioned she is kind of a terror for you. And from there, Lucina, how were you feeling before you went into the match? Did you feel like your odds of winning this were very good? Uh, I was actually really worried. Um, just because it really depends a lot on Ran landing defense breaks. Interesting. Um, I think because a Robbie in particular is generally bulky. Yep. So it's always going to be difficult. I think a Robbie is just one of those units that will always be difficult to play into as a cleaver. Mm -hmm. Just because um, she has everything. one like she yeah she has everything and she's just able to punish you really easily if you yeah. don't kill her and extra swing with that revive plus skill null. Okay, so. Lucina, let's go through the units that you use a lot. Um, here's the Ran. We looked at the Flan as well. And I guess let's start with your number one pick, which would be Politis. Yep. So on book, and you're not banning Bellion. So sometimes is the book just useless if they pick the Bellion? Um, it gives you a little bit of flexibility in the pick ban phase. If, like, worst case, I'm running without souls, it's just whatever. Or sometimes you'll just ban the Bellion? Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, so anything that players that... So, Paulette is very important for Cleavers, right? Uh, very, very important. Guys, y'all can pick her up from the Selective Summon. Um, and after, I believe, it is after they complete Episode 3. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. That is correct. So, get the Paulette's guys, if you're an up-and-coming Cleaver, and just take us through the build, Lucian. Is this pretty much full damage? Is the 220 speed point, that's where you like it? 219? Yeah. Uh, full damage is absolutely important as a Cleaver. Your goal is to do as much chip damage as possible, so it makes it easier for other DPS to actually kill stuff. Um, 219 was the... I think 220 is around the sweet spot right now. Obviously, it'll change as gear gets better and as the meta shifts. But the important thing is that you're cutting with her passive, right? And as long as she is able to disrupt most things, especially like AOL, around like say like 260 or so mm -hmm. i've sort of noticed that having politis around the 220 range is been the sweet spot for me okay and we have a comment from the chat lucina the mola priority how important do you think this s2 maxing out is um technically you should be plus 15 in all your dps yeah. i've just sort of found that one i'm lacking molas and two most of the time you're gonna be s twoing into skill nulls anyway so okay so it, guys you should but this is why i like lucina being on here because he is able to hit emperor he's able to beat legends and you'll see the gear his gear quality is not the most insane most y'all watching can achieve it eventually or can achieve it already and also he's showing right some budget there's a little bit of budget going on because i mean who isn't lacking on molas unless you're mega whaling Okay, so Lucina, anything else on Politis? Ready to move on to the next unit? Um, I think there are still people that run immunity on her. Okay. Don't run immunity on her. I know there are a lot of cringe players that run ER on her. Don't run ER on her, Don't especially as a cleaver. Really? Okay. I guess. Yeah, I think it's because I think it, I I genuinely believe just that all damage. It's copium. Yeah, I think it's copium. I do think ER can work, guys, but maybe Lucina is not is saying not for a full on cleave player. Okay. Um, all right, so next up, I believe you picked it was Ran and Flan, right? We'll take a quick look yes. again at the two, and you can give your take on build suggestions, all that good stuff. Here is Ran, Lucina. Take us through it. Um, she is la he's lacking a lot of stats. Um, this is definitely far from my best gear. Um, if you notice, like for example, that sword used to be on Pavel, and now it's not on Pavel. I'm noticing some um, ER here, uh, Lucina. Yeah, um, this is pretty much what happens when you put your second best deep, uh, second best speed set yeah. on Ran, and you just end up with like an ER ring. I have a crit damage <laughs> neck as well. It's really all over the place. I love it though, because you're making it work with this. Everyone probably is trying to craft the perfect Ran with full damage, the max speed, and this has been working for you, right? Yeah, you do not need damage Ran. Um, I can tell you right now. If anything, I think bulky ER ran is probably better right now for cleavers. Okay. 
Um, generally, you're going to be running Book anyway, so you can always Soul Burn if you need to. Um, a, the biggest threat to Ran is you getting outsped by an Acid. And I think if I have, I know if I have, like I say, like 55k effective HP, so like maybe like, you know, a thousand defense with like maybe 11k HP. Yeah. I think that would probably be enough to take most Acids right now, too. Okay. So I think just a little bit more. Personally, I would rather have a little, a little bit more bulk and 100 ER, but. Uh, and what's the fine. ER for? Uh, what's the ER for here? Is that uh, for Acid? Acid Silence. Okay. Yeah. Mainly for the Acid Silence, guys. So but we already have two units. Uh, that we've seen, not the Politis, but the Ran and the Flan, who we're about to show right now, that are built with Acid Speed Contests in mind. And so far, the gear, guys, very achievable. Most y'all can reach it. So, so, cycling back, we were, you kind of mentioned this already. The tanky immunity Flan to fight Acids. Anything else you want to talk about on her kit? Um, or this builds? is probably the fastest speed gear I have on my account. I think look. it's like an average, like 20 speed average or something like that. Honestly, this is probably, if you are anywhere slower than this, you probably want to consider just playing aggro instead. <gasps> um, especially if you want to try and clab, climb up the crab. Just because there are so many players yeah. that dra that have, like, like a lot of players have 300 ace hits. If you can't hit 300 on most of your units consistently, it's going to be really difficult. So, you, Lucina, you're recommending that you for Flan tr to try to hit, what, 290? Otherwise, maybe yeah. shift a little bit more to aggro instead of all in cleave? Yeah, because it's just, it's really hard to draft. It's already hard enough to draft this land, to be honest. Yeah. Because there's a lot of, say, like, there are a lot of units starting at, like, base 122 speed. Like, for example, Sea Lilius is a very big offender, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can't even consistently outspeed those, it's really risky. It can be tough. Okay. Guys, unfortunately, that's why. So even though most of the gear, this is probably will be the, would you say this is the main difficulty? And uh, becoming a cleaver would be like speed for this unit. Yeah, speed for if you're going to be a flan cleaver, you definitely need gear around this level. Okay, is there other options that players can do if they don't want to flan cleave? Uh, Pavel tell? cleave is also very common. Um, for example, having like say like a 295 plus Pavel, which will be much easier, nice right, thing. than getting flan to 292. Yes, although the gear type is a lot more restrictive because you have to have proper DPS stuff. Okay, we'll get back to Pavel guys, but there might there might be an alternative. Don't worry. Okay, so after those two, we let's go check out your DPS here. First yep. up is oops, BBK. Recent, not recently, but buffed pretty pretty recently, and Lucina has been liking her because she is a immortality unit. All right, Lucina, give us the rundown. Yep, uh, BBK is definitely the cleave. DPS, I'd argue. Uncounterable S3, Immortality, punishes Casino very well. Um, and elaborate with, Casino for yeah. the players that aren't in the know for the lingo. What is Casino? So a lot of a lot of players, when they encounter Cleave, they tend to run units that purely rely on counterattacks, especially punishing AoE. And BBK sort of subverses this because of her S2 passive. She first has Immortality, uh, turn one, which is very nice. On top of that, she gains extra attack and defense, I believe. Or it's, it's attack and speed, sorry. She gains extra attack and speed based on every 20% of HP that she's lost. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice for her damage. Um, alongside that, she has a 10 soul soul burn, which synergizes very well with, say, units like Flan or like maybe like a book with like two. Uh, DPS that have also 10 soul soul burns. Yeah, um, sorry, Lucina, we kind of hovered over it really quickly, but you are using Unseen yeah. Observer for the 10 yes. souls, which you're saying yes. synergizes yeah. with the BBK. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, sorry. I should Continue on? that. But yeah, BBK has one of some of the highest ratios, um, and she's just so good right now. Um, even if you aren't able to kill everything turn one, her S1 with the cycle, yeah. with the CR manipulation is very nice. She gets 30% CR. Um, when she doesn't kill something, 60% if she does, she has a lot of innate sustain. She just has a lot of damage though, that's the biggest thing. So that's why I sort of aimed for this like 12k MCD or like 4000 attack, 300 crit damage mark alongside the speed. Okay, got it. You ready to move on to the next DPS? Yeah, uh, Shepard, I run Shepard oh, yeah. over Artifact. Portrait. Um, I personally like Shepard even if it's not maxed because, um, I really love using that 20% evasion. Um, that has won me more games than anything. I've never run out of damage with this type of build. So, oh, so it's, the va it's mostly for the evasion because the damage part does synergize with her overall idea, right? You're mentioning the lower health, the damage kind of increase. Um, but yeah, you're saying exactly. it's mostly for the evasion, right? Yes. Okay, Definitely. got it. 
Would you um, say uh, if they don't have Shepard, would you recommend Dreamblade then, or do you still value that damage? I think you still want Portrait. Um, okay. So if, if you can. Yeah. I think the other thing is I'd rather run Immunity over Crit Set if you can, because her getting resets really bad. But at the same time, like I need to hit these damage stats. Otherwise, I don't break through a lot of the bulkier players. Yeah, and I think most players watching will also probably start on crit set as well until their gears get enough to run another set where they don't need that 12% crit bonus. Okay, let's go to Bryce yep. Saria next, the next immortality damage dealer. Um, what do you think? What what's the deal with this unit right now, Lucina? Um, so Briar is a very unique DPS, uh, having 35% innate uh, accuracy on her yep. S2. Alongside the drink effect is very nice. And you also stack um, it with this, right? The symbol exactly. Of I run symbol of unity. Okay. So I have 55% uh, accuracy. And who is that so, targeted for, example, for? What is that? Oh, yeah. What's the unit that all cleavers fear right now, Lucina? Violet is the most obnoxious unit you will ever run into as a cleaver. Just because a lot of openers right now are water. And the fact that you have a 50% chance of not hitting your target. A 45% chance of only hitting your target is absolutely annoying. So having a unit like Briar to uh, help with uh, your accuracy is mm -hmm. pretty nice. Um, her damage, her damage is really high too, especially with the Soul Burn on S3. And if they're not on something like a uh, Violet Talisman, you completely stop uh, most Violets full evasion, right? 100% hit chance if they're not on Talisman. Exactly. So, okay. Um, another niche I've sort of noticed is that. Sometimes uh, you might have to run into Arby's, and Briar can still somehow deal with Arby, surprisingly, uh, especially with the squishier versions. Because even if, for example, you lose your Im immunity for some reason, and then the Arby s and blinds you, you still have 100% accuracy. True. Okay. Very nice. All right. So anything else to talk about on the Bryce area? Uh, let's show the stat line again. I think I was showing the skill enhancements. Yeah, um, I'm running attack percent boots on her just because I don't really have good enough stats on speed boots. Interesting. Uh, I have her specifically tuned like this too, for example, in case like Romero somehow manages to steal immortality or something. But she's, I think, running her on a higher damage build is really important. 180's just 180 speeds like the bare minimum for me because I need to have her speed tuned to my plan. But otherwise, like I think she's a really good DPS. Um, obviously, she struggles into stuff like Rem or like bulkier air obviously with mitigation. Yeah. But into especially into squishier comps, she works very well. Okay, guys, try the Bryce area. Hopefully, some of y'all picked her up. And I think a lot of players, she's kind of a unit that not too many people rave about necessarily. I don't think anyone disrespects Bryce area, but this is the first time I've really seen it like super uh, used well in Cleave. A lot of times, you'll just see her used in standard matches or maybe slightly aggressive matches as like a debuffer, right, Lucina? But you're utilizing exactly. her as the anti-violet, big-time cleave damage. Um, okay, so name some other units that you use besides those five we saw in your draft that you want to just cover real quickly. Okay, Vildred is definitely one you want to cover. I'm sure, guys, we all know this guy. Uh, the strengths are the speed imprint, right, Lucina? Plus just the massive amounts of damage he can pump out. Yep, definitely. Uh, have him on immunity. I have him on Dreamblade because I there are a lot of water openers still in the game, like Para. So you can just sort of avoid you, having that extra twenty percent. Sort of nice in case you don't want to get restricted. Um, yeah, ninety nine percent crit chance because my gear can't reach proper crit. That's but good. It's we okay. like to see that because a lot of people in chat won't be able to hit hundred crit either. Um, what's yep. the immunity for? Is that also for Acid? Um, it's not for Acid, it's just to also help with, um, it's just to also help with Para or, like, Celo. Yeah. Just having immunity on, like, these middling range speed DPS, like, say, like, it's another uh, 180 check. to, like, 220. It's just, yeah, it's just having that check. Another, uh, 15% resist check is what he's saying, guys. Okay. Yeah. All Definitely. right. So, big boy unit. I think some people also like the Sword of Summer Twilight. Is that true still? Yeah, Sword um, of Summer Twilight's always good. Portrait's always good. There are a lot of good artifacts they can run on Vildred. Okay. It's a thief. You could run pretty much anything. You're fine. You can even run Manica for the accuracy. Sounds good. All right. So then what is the... What's next? When... Uh, Ada. Ada's also oh, very Oh, yes. This is have. huge, guys. This one is a terror for me to fight. By the way, I mentioned in chat earlier. Um, we don't have time to talk about it. But what the heck is going on? Did you forget you already had a plus nine dizzy, Lucina? What's going on here? Uh, I pulled for a second dizzy the on the rerun, yeah. and uh, it took. I had to hit hard pity on that 
coin banner or whatever. Yeah. I ended up getting like a double S imprint in Elf Vault <laughs> in the meanwhile so before just, I got my first Dizzy. But yeah, so I just, just have to build two. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could have had those molas for our poor Politus. But anyways, moving on. Ida. Um, yes, talk to us about it. Guys, also recently buffed insane cleave unit now. Just pretty good unit also in aggro matches. But um, yeah, talk to us. How, how do you use her and how do you recommend people to build her? All that good stuff. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that Viola existed, she would probably be the most broken DPS in this game right now. Guys, Vi so Violet is necessary for the game. Yeah. Just Ooh. to balance the units like this, Fran, Para, etc. Yeah. Honestly. Everyone, everyone hates on Violet, but you take out Violet, boys, and these cleavers are going to run a muck. They'll go crazy with no Violet check, okay? So be careful what you ask for. All right, so talk to us about Ida. Um, so I run my Ida around this speed with the immunity. Um, I know a lot of people are chattered noticing the immunity. Yes. I've been stunned way too much by counter T Crozet because T Crozet is a very common counter pick to cleave. Yes. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys have felt the pain of getting stunned by a, a T Crozet counter I've done before. It to, I've done it to many people and it's insta loss, right? It's actually you just lose right there when it happens. Yeah, exactly. So, like, instead of wasting my soul burn, I sort of prefer to have the the immunity and just feel a little bit more safe okay um damage is really important um effectiveness the effectiveness that i have on her it just happened to be there i sure. i've experimented Plus, with like 100 effectiveness builds before but you really need the damage her and race then, deals aren't sorry. honestly that great so. sure, sure. i'm missing uh, molas too yeah i was gonna say so just like you said on the politis if we can right uh, as a damage dealer we should max everything out especially for someone as important as ida but you've been making it work in Emperor uh, with some, you know, budget Mola priority, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about with Ida? Besides her being insane, boys? Um, Make sure she's fast enough to actually do stuff. Um, I remember, for example, like I, I was in Elf Mage's turning like a couple weeks ago and okay. my Ada didn't cut <laughs> because I wasn't fast enough on Ada. Was that at this so speed, 236? Sure, uh, yeah. Um, Say if you have, you want to make sure that you are 80% the speed of your opener. 80% of the speed of your opener. We're going to have to write that down. Hopefully, uh, I'll remember to write this down in the editing I'll put on the screen. Another pro tip from Lucina. So 80% and your opener is usually who? Ran? Flan? Yeah, it's generally Ran. So 80% speed of Ran. All right, guys. You're going to do some quick math on your own, but that's a nice little tip there from yeah, Lucina. Yeah, so like, for example, mine would be like what? Uh, 241, and right now mine's only two. 36 so yeah. i sometimes get cut it's really bad when it, what she does so. yeah that's just how that's just how cleaving is right guys you need to really fine tune and just get those speed rolls going i think everyone that wants to cleave is aware of that and so just having that knowledge is nice all right yeah. what's after ida um after ida ooh, man. is that about it uh, we can we can hold off there and you can kind of give your takes yeah. on pavel and maybe alternative cleaves yeah i'll be honest that's pretty much the core like seven units i drafted i guess there's para and celia still so uh, we can probably look at Para first. Okay, sure, yeah, yeah. Let's look at Para real fast. Oh, I and I I I realized I forgot one unit. But yeah, okay. Para, uh, I have her geared 294. Uh, she needs effectiveness. She needs bulk. That's pretty much it. Yep. The offsets are completely fine. I think that's the best I could get on her. Yeah. And the nice thing is this looks exactly like a standard Para, so it's pretty much the same thing for all Paras, which is good. Versatile. All right. And when do you pick her? Uh, I pick her when uh, my Ran gets sniped. When Ran gets banned or, or sniped, when, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because you want to discourage, say, Celia's pick. You want to discourage other speed contesters. Yeah, and speaking of Celia, let's take a look at her real fast. Yeah, mine's very copium. Guys, this is definitely uh, attainable stats for a lot of y'all watching. Uh, not to say it's bad. 282 is still very good, but for Emperor, right, where Lucina normally plays, he fights Legend. This is kind of, uh, you'd be surprised, I think, in that high up to see stat lines like this. A little bit light, but it's good to know this can still work out. Not a main pick for you, right, Lucina? You probably don't pick her too often. When do you Definitely end up drafting not. her? Um, but she's still very nice to have in the scenarios where you either want to bait, a, bait the opponent into banning her yep. or, say, just pivoting into standard or aggro. Okay. She still works well with, for example, Ada, right? Because she has an S2, S3 that's not an attack. So she gets extra CR off of that. It's just really easy to synergize with her. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Um, okay, so those were the two uh, alternative openers, right? Com with yeah. Ran and Flan. And then you said then there's one there's other one unit. one more unit, Summertime. Yes. Summertime? Yeah, Summertime. Which is a Fire Ranger. Fire Ranger. Summertime Iceria, boys. Of course, how can we forget? Summertime Iceria. All right, Lucina, take us through it. 
Alright, so I have her on a very high effectiveness build. Um, very high. Jeez. Have to have the plus 30 RD. Okay. Um, otherwise, you're not going to be able to do anything after turn one, and you sort of need to whenever you're using this unit. Mm -hmm. Guys, save your bottles, or otherwise wait for the rerun. Um, I have her on super high effectiveness just so that I can pivot into a really hard, like... If, if for example, they draft like high ER units like, say, Maid, or sometimes they draft Bastion of Hope, uh, BBK, or Sage Ball, it's really important to have a high effectiveness unit like this, and for me, it's summertime. Okay. And how often do you pick her nowadays compared to before? I think everyone was running like Caesarea Ran in the past. Did uh, her play rate for you go down a little bit? It definitely went down, especially say with like D Lily uh, buff alongside Celine's buff. Right. But I think it's still important to have her because she's still a very strong um, fourth fifth pick. Good, and I think a lot of I think a lot of cleavers do have her almost ready because of how good she was in the past. So still relevant, just slightly less so. Okay. Well, Lucina, is there any anything? Uh, any other units you want to talk about real fast? No, that's pretty much it. Okay, in so... In terms of the units I use. Yeah, I know Chad is shouting out, like, where's Fire Coerc and things like that. Maybe you just don't have access to them or you don't have enough gear for them. This that's this is the main squad that we went over, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I do want to talk about... I think a lot about... of people, yeah. Go a ahead, lot of people sorry. are wondering why I don't have Coerc and Pavel, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you just show my Pavel, right? So, the one thing that I... So, I have my Coerc mullet, I have my Pavel mullet. Yeah, plus But 10. the reason why I don't have them geared, right, is just because I don't have the speed DPS gear. Right, um, okay. So if you so did the, have more gear, they would be ready to go. But um, they it's it's very gear intensive playstyle, and yeah, he'll get there eventually. But you don't need those necessarily, boys. You can kind of just focus on a specific style, and then later on when you have more gear, you can swap to the other styles of units. But I wanted to talk about Pavel because you mentioned if they can't hit that 290 on Flan, which you said was kind of like the the gatekeep sort of what you kind of want to hit if you were to do Flan cleave right 290 minimum. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to get punished. And boys, or Lucina, clarify, is that for Emperor Plus? It's definitely for Emperor Plus. If they're just going um, for champ cleaving, maybe even like Challenger Masters, they can get away with a lot less, right? What do you think? Exactly. A lot of these numbers that I'm throwing out are really oriented towards like people that want to climb up the crab. Um, anything lower, you really, the stats matter a lot less. So let's just say 280 in champ, 270, 260 in like Challenger, right? Lucina, does that sound okay? Yeah, like lower about like 10 per, per, like per rank. rank. Okay. So guys, you'll have to kind of test yourself, but don't don't worry too much about the 290 just yet. But just understand as you climb higher and higher, if you guys are cleaving after you watch Lucina's advice and you're doing well, you'll need to keep improving her for this specific flan cleave draft. Now let's talk about Pavel as the other alternative because he'll be able to hit... Um, so him and flan share the same role, is that correct? Um, sort of. So Pavel I in particular is that one unit that you always have to be scared of yeah no matter like what me. elo you're in let's see just sorry, sorry. You always have... pause real fast just for yeah. just for three seconds we got a important Robotic interruption Australia. he says Yo, i'm in silver rta definitely need 320 speed flan par six six listen if you're in silver rta do you need 320 speed flan uh totally no you did heck no not. right what you do you need not. you need like a 200 you need like a 190 flan for silver anyways yeah, yeah sorry thank you robo um talk to us about the pavel um, in terms of Pavel, Pavel's a unit that Pavel. one acts as a like a cleave opener, right? Mm -hmm. Just because stuff like Seedom exists, right? So him and alongside Flan. that, yeah, alongside him, and Flan, and then he also has the ability to just be a DPS himself and nuke something. Okay, with his S three. So those are the shifts. So he's an opener, but also he will be more damage oriented, and he has that coveted. You mentioned you like units that can't be counter counterable, right? Or uh... yes. And I believe that's on his S2, is that correct? Yeah, on yes, his S2. S2 okay. being uncounterable is insane. Yeah, very good. Um, He kind of was not played too much, but now he's making a comeback big time. Um, Yeah, anything else you want to mention about the Pavel? This is an alternative. Um, So he will be easier to get speed on, guys, but you'll also need to focus more on damage. So it could be seen as also being hard to gear, correct? Yeah, definitely. I think for me, I think the fastest I've been able to fribbles him up to is like maybe like 270 speed. Mm -hmm. So it really, it's I, I think obviously my gear isn't really best suited for it, but I'm fairly certain that if you say like had gear that was much more DPS oriented, you could definitely build like a 285, 290 Pavel a lot easier. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, Lucina, any other tips, tricks, closing thoughts you want to talk about? 
Um, and we'll probably do a we'll I think if if the chat likes if YouTube likes it we'll do a follow up with maybe actual gameplay. But for now, let's keep it kind of short and sweet. Anything else you want to close with? Um, tips play a lot of games. If you're playing on climbing, yeah. If you're playing on climbing, play a lot of games. Play a uh, lot. Keep your unit pool small. Play a lot of games. That that makes it a lot easier to actually learn. I like right? that tip. Keep your unit pool small because a lot of players, when you're coming into the game, are either going to say you need eight. 10, 12, 16 units ready to go. Lucina for cleave, and in your style of cleave, you're saying keep it to a few units at first and just stick to one game plan? Yeah, I think you sort of notice that like I only really stick with like 7 8 units at most, and yeah. even then I maybe branch out to 12. You could definitely get away with climbing as a cleaver with a lot less. Just be prepared where if they hard counter, outspeed, take your units, you, what do we do? We just yield out and just play another one, right? Yeah, exactly. Or if you like say get RNG to death by a violet or something, you just just top right and just play another and one. And that's the best part about Cleve Lucina. Give give them the mental strat. The, what's the mentality? We can lose because we play so fast, so we win so fast. We just keep spamming games, right? That's the benefit yep. of Cleve. Exactly. And at the end of the day, you're dealing with a lot less RNG than most other standard players or aggro players are doing with, right? If you only have to deal with two or three turns of RNG, that's a lot less than a lot of standard players do in an entire match. Right? True. And it helps if you bring uncounterable units so you don't have to deal with that kind of we said earlier, guys, casino style counterattacks. Okay. Um, is that it? Lucina, anything else? We good to go? Nah, that's it. I got nothing else. In closing, boys, what do we learn? 80% should be your DPS. Um, which unit was that again? 80% of the speed Ada. for Ada, following your opener, Ran or Flan. Um, other pro tips we learned from Lucina keep your draft small, focus on select units. He likes ones with immortality, he likes the ones with uncounterable, but he also talked about Pavel, Fire Coeric. There's other options as well, but if you saw his gear, boys, a lot of y'all can achieve it. Just start playing a lot of Wyvern. Is Wyvern farming the way to go, Lucina? A lot of Wyvern farming, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. We'll get a follow-up if y'all enjoyed it. Lucina, thank you so much for joining us. No, thanks um, for having me. No YouTuber Twitch yet, right? No, no, no YouTuber Twitch. But we're doing some Korean translations. You'll, you'll be my one of my Korean go-to guys to give us the in-depth scoops on all that. So stay tuned for that, boys. Lucina, thank you again, man. YouTube, take it easy. We're going to stay around maybe for some Q&A. So you guys got to join us on Twitch. Bye, everybody. Lucina, say bye. Bye. <laughs>